Hi guys, thanks for coming back to my YouTube channel. I am, oh, my hair is a mess. Oh, sorry. Okay, so anyway, I am going to do a, just a life update for you guys real fast. It's Saturday morning. Um, I just cleaned my room and I actually filmed that, but it did not turn out. So you guys will never see that. I deleted it. Um, anyway, I am technically still doing great. Not uh, big changes. Well, one big change is I got a different job. I quit my caretaking job that I've been doing for the last two years um, with a company here in my town. I'm not going to say the name of the company, but I will say that I had no beef with them. I love them. Um, they were not the problem. Um, the, the, the co-workers were not the problem. Really the owner and the boss was not the problem either. I was just getting burnt out. Um, <clears throat> when you take care of a special needs group, you give so much in this last year because of the COVA, we got locked down. And we were not allowed to go anywhere. So we were constantly trying to do stuff with them to keep them entertained in their homes. And, um, and in each home, there's anywhere between six to eight people or adults. I'm going to call them adults because they are adults. Um, some of them were high function some of them were medium function and some of them were very, very low function. I was with some of the probably more lower functions. Um, like two of them was on lifts and on bed rest, you know, like one was on bed rest um, and could only get up at certain times during the day. And there would be times I was there by myself. Um, because of the epidemic, um, people decided to quit on us, uh, and it just got overwhelmed. Um, I did good all the way up until probably, um, I would say, let's see, July, um, I noticed my Self was starting to take a different turn for um, my my outer self. I'm usually I'm not trying to brag, but I'm usually a bubbly kind of person. I have I've gotten told my personality is more um, giving and more happy going, and I wasn't become I wasn't that. I was still giving, but it was just, I was, I, I didn't smile as much. Um, and people started to notice that. And I noticed it. My daughter noticed it because I was biting her head off. When one of the situations, I'll tell you the story, is we were running late for church. Church opened back up. We were running late for church. And I was picking her up to go to work. I mean, from work to go to church, straight to church, and I was had to wait on her. And I totally bit her head off. And I said, this is ridiculous, blah, 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 you know, and I just, and then when I got to church, it just hit me that, you know, she maybe just had a bad day herself and <clears throat> stuff like that, you know, and I just... I just broke down right there in church and just asked God to help me. And I think that's when God moved on me and just said, Nelly, it's time to move. You're not, this is not for you no more. You've done your, you've done what you could do there. It's time for you to move. Um, so at that time, I started to actually really put my application in at places. One of the ladies, a good friend that worked with there at the, my position I was at said she knew a friend who worked, she thought he worked for Amazon because he was taking books 
and putting them on Amazon. Um, this is probably going to be a very long video, guys. I would grab a cup of coffee or uh, something good to drink, some hot tea. I grabbed me a cappuccino, French vanilla. Um, I love my Dollar Tree uh, cups. You know what I would like to have is one of those sweater um, cups because these cups do get hot. And so I would love to have one of those little sweaters to put over my cup. But anyway, back to my story. <laughs> so I started looking and she told me about this position that he does. And so she asked him, are you guys looking for anybody? I have a lady at my work. She really needs a, a, another job. He said, no, they're not really looking for anybody right now. Um... About, see, this was in July, about, um, well, I, that's when I bit off my daughter's head, but she kind of talked to him before this. Um, I, I think it was June, June, July. So yeah, it was probably July when after God took, said, yeah, we're going to be moving you. I feel like God moved me. I really do. So she came back to me. She said, hey, Nellie, I talked to my friend. They are looking for somebody. Are you still interested? I said, oh, yes, totally. And so she got me in contact with the gentleman. The gentleman got me an interview. Actually, it wasn't even really an interview. I went in, he said, okay, this is what we do. And all I do, it's not actually Amazon. It's just a small little family company that um, rents out a warehouse and hires people. And it's all legit. It's all, you know, they have their li government license and all. I pay my taxes. It's, you know, I filled out my W-2 forms. I use my T-sheets, and, and that's what I did with my other job. It's all legit. I promise, guys. So, I go in. They give. I have a big box that I grab. Me and two other employees to actually go through the books. And we scan them. And um, with this app we have on our phone. And you just, it'll tell you if the if it lights up green and it'll tell you if the book is good or not. Um, and it's all books. It's anywhere from Bibles to journals to romance, those little stupid $5 romance books to um, love inspiring books, the Christian books, any kind of book you can think of. We get in these big old boxes and we scan them to see how much they'll be. We can, and we have a scale and they already have the scale set on our phone. So when you scan it, it turns up green and gives us a little like beep saying, this is an Amazon book. We put it in the Amazon box. Then we give it to our supervisor. He gets all the books stacked up, scans them into his computer and ships them off to Amazon. Then Amazon puts them on Amazon for us. That's, I do that for eight hours, guys. And the company is such a sweet little company. Like I said, it's family owned. Um, <clears throat> so they, uh, Fridays we have employee dinners. Um, they take care of us employees. Uh, we get an hour lunch. So actually I do work nine hours, but I get an hour lunch. I, um, yeah, you know, it, it's, it's a great job. It really is. It's laid back. I go in there, I put my headphones on. I can listen to a broadcast. I can listen to a preaching. I can listen to music. I can do whatever I want with, or I don't have to. I can just sit there and talk to my people. And the people I work with are great. 
matter of fact, they're all coming over and we're having a barbecue next weekend at my house um, to, to, to do something out of work and to be friends with each another. And that's what we need these time of the days. Um, it's going to be a small group. We're all going to be outside. And, you know, we work together. So, and half of them have already had their COVID tests and all that. <clears throat> so that <clears throat> is my job situation right now. Nathan, my son, is deciding to move back in with me. Uh, because he had some um, crisis to happen in his life. He lost his job. He was doing the same thing I was doing. He got burnt out about the same time I did, but his was a little bit different situation. He loved his job. He probably would still be there, but he was having problems with a supervisor. Um... I'm not going to go into great detail because that's his story and he can tell you on his platform, which he does have a YouTube channel. If you guys like to subscribe to it, I think it's Nathan Phillips YouTube. Um, yeah, and he, um, he was just getting, oh my God, it was just sad. I just didn't understand why the supervisor, because he wasn't like that with me. But he was just constantly just bashing Nathan. So Nathan got mad and he quit his job. And so he couldn't afford to live on his own no more. So I know people says I should just let him fall. I told him I was going to let him fall. And that he wasn't going to move back in with me. But I can't do that. I'm a mom. So he's moving with me. He's sleeping on my couch again. And so we're in the couple of months we actually the next big announcement we are going to be moving we're going to be looking for a three bedroom or we do want two baths <clears throat> so we're looking into maybe buying a trailer i know that maybe sounds like we're going back in time but you know it'd be something that would be mine if i go buy me a trailer um so we're looking into that uh, um, I'm not really sure what else to say. Church is going great. God's moving. Um, in my life, my son's, oh, and my son came back to church. That is the other big announcement. Um, he came Mother's Day for me in May. Um, and God kind of moved on him. A little bit in last service and then cut it out of the blue um and the end of july the first of august he goes mom pick me up for church i said okay he'll come with you once in blue moon he was raised in this our pentecostal religion and you know and now sitting here talking to you guys it remind me of the scripture raise your children um, I probably didn't say it wrong because I don't have the scripture right in front of me, but raise your children um, with God. They will never forget or something like that. I know I said it wrong, but basically what I'm saying is he was raised in this service, this church and in this religion, and he's done a full circle. Um, he's got a great job now at one of the schools here um, or surrounding area uh he just started it and he's worked there for two days and so far he's loving it uh he's working with two younger gentlemen um of his age who are uh, christians and he's working with another uh, older gentleman who goes to our church um who um who goes to our church and so he's <clears throat> doing really good and he was kind of sad because he is going to be missing Wednesday night services and youth night but in the summertime he can go back to doing all that stuff because he does work second shift 
So that's what is going on so far. Lizzie's doing great. She turned 21 or 22 this year. Uh, we had a birthday party. It was a fiesta. Um, she got her own ice box. You saw I redid her bedroom. It's, um, I got a video up on that on here of me, of um, the remake over. And so I got her a little ice box because I kind of made her room into like a little apartment slash dorm room so she can, you know, how she tried to get a microwave, but I said no. But I did get her the ice box that she wanted. It's just a little 12 can ice box. She made out like a bandit. She got all kinds of like stuff, new stuff for her room. Um, yeah, money gift cards stuff like that and she's she's loving her room now um so and that's what i'll do when we move into the new house <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry um i will still do her room like that too there um her room might be a little bit smaller so she may not be able to have the couch but maybe we can spooch up Oh, the love seat. Switch out the love seat for maybe a little chair or something. Or a recliner or something like that. Um, but yes, we are... Oh, I just love cappuccino. Okay, so... Yeah, that's kind of what's been going on in our life. Um, I loved my... Um, Okay, so let me back up. Okay. Uh, as you guys know, I did a video about my weight gain. And I am still fighting that. I did those diet pills. These did not work. They messed with me. They made me sleepy. They just did not help me out at all. Um, and I did the other one. The Thrive, and I did, I did Thrive on it, but it's so expensive, guys. And I thought about trying to sell it to do it, but I wasn't for sure how to really go about doing that. But I'm still trying to figure that out because I, I, guys, really honestly, Thrive worked for me. I only did it for eight days. Of course, it took me four days of my body to get used to the Thrive. And yes, it worked. If you guys know somebody who sells it, I recommend it 100%. Um, if you guys are ever interested and you do want to get into it, you can leave a comment and I will get you my person or I will try to get signed up to sell it and get you guys hooked up. Um, it worked so well. Um, my sister loved it. I love it. My best friend loves it. I've had other people that when I was doing it said that they could tell a difference in between that four days, that, that last four days, and they seen my patch and they asked me about it. And I said, yes, I love it. And, um, but I am in the process of trying to get into that to try to sell it so I can actually just because if I could sell it, then I can take it and I can really show you guys a difference because I know 100% that I would thrive with that. Um, but yeah, that's really uh, what's going on. My grandma is doing great thanks for your prayers um she's uh my mom is doing good she's going to be looking for a place back here in town to move back here in augusta i wish my grandma could too my brother is doing really good he got a job in presumption uh, you know god is just moving my family so well i i just can't say that enough he has touched my family. Um, he loves he loves my family. He really does. 
Um, I had family that was in the hurricane. Um, my aunt and them, they lost everything, their home and everything. But I think they're going to come out on top. My little cousin that was there, she only had a little bit of damage. You know, but God brings storms in our lives sometimes, I think, to make us stronger. Um, I just am so thankful for what God has done in my life. And I am struggled. I struggle still today. But I can always go back to my God. And he's there for us. Um, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys have any questions about Thrive, I think it's Thrive. <laughs> now, now, now I'm questioning myself. But it's a very good diet. And I love it. And if you guys are having questions about it and you would like to get involved in it, please let me know because I would love to get signed up to start selling and get you guys going on it and so I can get going on it. Um, uh, yeah, I just, I just can't thank you guys enough for watching these crazy videos that I do. I do, I do want to say, um, you know, if you haven't hit that subscribe button and this is your first time watching, my name is Nellie Phillips. I probably should have said this at the beginning of the video. Um, I am a divorced single mom for the last year and something now. I think almost uh, we've been separated for two. And I am a mom of five. Two are mine. Three are my ex-husbands. And I love them all the same. Uh, I do have a TikTok, Nellie Phillips. I think it's what my TikTok is too. Um, my Instagram is Nellie Phillips. And I want to say 1290 or just Nellie Phillips. I'll have them all linked below. And I have Facebook, which is just Nellie Phillips. Um, and if you guys like these videos, please like, share, hit the subscribe button so and hit the bell so when you I upload you guys know that I have uploaded um I my video content goes used to be a lot of hauls I don't do a lot of those anymore I want to get back into doing uh DIYs and just live videos um I love doing these sit down videos for you guys. And um, yeah, so if you guys want to hit that subscribe button, please do. And thanks for watching this video. Like always, God bless you and have a great day.